and we are wrapping up day seven on board Caribbean Princess. Uh, today we were in Costa Rica in Port Limon. Um, I got up pretty early this morning and did a little bit more filming around the ship. Uh, it was a good morning for it because we had some time changes so um, people were kind of groggy this morning and not really like crowded anywhere. Um, so I was able to grab some more places and then I got a little bit of work done. Um, pulling up the nice thing with this port is it's very colorful um, and the the people on the port are very welcoming. Um, they had some live music in like a hollowed out storage not so, uh, shipping container and they were singing like welcome to Port Limon like it had its own theme song which was really cool and I was able to get some really nice picturesque shots. I've been to Costa Rica before not on cruises but just on regular travel and it is a it's beautiful. The you know, very much palm trees and everything. Um, the one thing that I did learn is that there's not really good, great beaches here. Um, I'm not a beach person myself, but someone I talked to today was lamenting that she was unable to make it to a beach like she wanted to. However, she was able to get some really cool wildlife shots, including poison dart frogs. Um, she was not on an official excursion. She just kind of got a taxi and, and had them drive her around. So um, take that with a grain of salt. Um, but all in all, uh, getting off the ship, I only walked down as far as the port shops, which were about a five minute walk from the ship, a uh, straight line. You had to go through kind of the gauntlet of the off, <laughs> off label, um, tours. And it was kind of set up like a flea shop. There were rows and columns of booths. And then like around the outside of the flea market like area was like um, massage parlors and things like, and pedicures and stuff. So it was a really interesting port because I hadn't really seen the like get a manicure pedicure or get a massage while you're in the port um, type thing going on before. So that was cool. And yeah, I did a little bit of shopping then got back on the ship and did some more work um, up until around dinner time where after dinner I uh, got one of the specialty sundaes. Normally it comes with alcohol, but I got it without and it was cheesecake. Um, it was beautiful. <laughs> um, almost too pretty to eat. Uh, I did eat it though. It was pretty good. A little too much chocolate sauce for my taste, but I can see why they would do that because most people like chocolate sauce. I'm just not a huge fan. Um, and then after that I went and I called family and then I went to the comedian. I was pleasantly surprised. Normally, and you've heard us talk about this on the channel before, normally comedians are not our favorite entertainment. I actually skipped one earlier in the week where it was a husband and wife duo, but this comedian was legitimately funny. He was a little edgier than I would have expected for it being an older crowd. Um, and I was legitimately laughing and I felt kind of bad because I was sitting next to an older couple. They were lovely people, but they were not comfortable the whole time. He brought up swingers um, and they didn't know what that was. And I, you know, had to kind of explain that um, a little bit. He explained most of it, so not too bad. Um, and so that was interesting. And the really cool thing with that is he did a lot of our um, audience participation. So he is not someone um, who has the same show every time you see him. He, it, he was Ken Boyd was the name. Um, and I will tag him down below in the, in the description if you would like to check him out. Um, so that was wonderful. And now I'm going to get prepared to for the clock to change back in the other direction. So we moved from Eastern to Central time last night. We're moving back into Eastern time. I don't know why the ship didn't stay and then just tell you to follow ship time and not local time, but whatever, here we are. Two time changes in as many days and then another one on daylight savings um, this weekend, so that will be fun. But yeah, all in all, you know, pretty chill, but fun day. Um, I'm really looking forward. I actually might go see the comedian again tomorrow night. He'll be in one of the lounges. So maybe after the um, production show tomorrow night, I'll go see him, but yeah, stay tuned, all right? Night.